This little tip here has saved me a ton of frustration in recent productions. A lot of times when we're shooting on location, we get everything done, we're excited, the client's happy, and then something happens, something changes. There's a, there's a pickup shot that they need, something where we need to reshoot, and it can be expensive for the client. It, you know, hauling all the camera gear back there, redoing a whole production day for just one or two pickup shots. And so that's why we've gotten into a habit of shooting background plates on location. This provides us the ability to redo shots, especially interviews, or even if it's just a little B-roll shot of somebody doing something in front of their location. Instead of trying to fake the location in our studio, we can just throw it on our AR wall and have their actual location behind them. So maybe it's interacting with an employee or again, talking directly to the camera or a quick interview. We Grabbing those background plates has been a really, really great tool for us. But sometimes it isn't just about shooting a pickup shot. Sometimes it's about shooting on locations that are impractical or unsafe to actually bring talent out to. Lots of times we've been able to then shoot on location where we shoot the background plates and then we bring our talent into our studio in a much safer environment and get it all the shots that we need. And this also works great for things like product and tabletop shoots where you know, setting up a really nice product shot and tabletop shoot, I love doing them, but they can take a while. And to basically shut down an entire production floor or something like that, where we need to really have a dedicated space to do this shoot, a lot of clients that doesn't work for. So being able to shoot the, their location, their background plate, and then us shooting some really dynamic tabletop shots in front of it, this has turned out so well for us. Now, whether you plan on using background plates for an AR wall like we have, whether it's an LED wall, a projector, projector, a TV, uh, or maybe you're using it just for green screen backgrounds. Here are some best practices that I've learned to get the best type of background plates. The first one and simplest one is just get into the habit. Uh, a lot of times when we're doing shoots, we're getting all the shots that are on the shot list or the storyboard, and it's not always something that we're thinking about. But getting into the habit of shooting background plates can be just as important as shooting room tone after you've wrapped a production. You wanna make sure that you're not shooting something with too much motion, uh, because either Either you need to roll on that for a really long time, um, or you're gonna loop it and you're gonna start noticing, hey, that person keeps walking behind them <laughs> over and over again. Not saying shoot just static backgrounds, but just keep in mind that if there's motion and you're looping it, it's gonna become more and more obvious. Probably the most important tip with background plates, if you're gonna use them for something like a green screen or AR wall, is to shoot an actual person there just for a few seconds. This is so that you can match the lighting. You know exactly what they, it looks like in the shot. Also, it helps to to make sure you're getting the right composition. Uh, you don't want the camera angle too low or too high. You wanna see what an actual physical person looked like standing there, what the lighting was like on them and what the composition was so that you can match that better in your studio when you're trying to, to reshoot those shots. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're keeping the camera locked off for this shot. Just lock it off, hit record, and let it roll for a while. Don't try to get fancy with parallax or jib moves. I mean, if you're putting a person in front of it, that doesn't really make sense. That look isn't gonna match. Even though it'd be cool to have a nice dolly move behind the person, you're not gonna be matching that same look in front of them unless you put a dolly in front of the, the talent while you're shooting it. And the results would vary with that. You can experiment with it, but I found shooting locked up is the best way to do it. Whenever we are looking to add motion to our shots though, we rely on Kessler Crane motion control gear. It has become an amazing asset for all of our productions, including our virtual productions. And we have an entire workflow video that we uploaded to their YouTube channel that discusses how we use their tools in virtual production. They were kind enough to give us a discount code. And if you're looking to pick up some of their gear, head over to their website and use the code Creative Edge to get 10% off your next order. Now shooting background plates is awesome, but if you don't have the perfect image to use behind there, there's another tool that you can use and that is AI image generation. And we have a whole video where we explain the best practices of using AI image generation for background plates in your virtual productions. And you can check that out right over here.